Well, with Roblox Doors Floor 2 coming out, people were initially expecting some types of modifiers to be out for the new floor. And well, the developers unfortunately didn't have any time to add them in yet. Meanwhile though, players were able to take existing modifiers from Floor 1 and bring them into Floor 2, but this has also recently been patched. Luckily, there will be here soon, and with some confirmations, there's a lot that we can speculate. These are upcoming modifiers for Doors Floor 2. Comment your suggested modifiers below, and you better like and subscribe so we can get the developer's attention. You guys came up with awesome modifiers trending in the community, and the developers noticed. With the developers noticing the engagement spikes, and also within the YouTube community with other Roblox Doors YouTubers making some notable suggestions. We do have many amazing ideas within the Lsplash Discord server as BlueAA777 created a thread with over 100 replies on their take on modifiers, one of which being funny and hilarious, which would feature Giggle spawning in more often presumably somewhere around once every room or two, depending on the difficulty, to even the laughing stock modifier, which would cause an entity to spawn in at every single room. Throw in a tricky modifier to this entity, and now the giggle will be silent, making them much more difficult to detect, and as a final touch, to make things even more difficult, introduce an evolution modifier that will make giggles immune to flashlights, though the developers will have to work quite a bit on the placements of the entity, so you better I hope you have a crucifix for that one. More entity modifiers would include the gloomy modifier, which buffs gloom bats to be able to deal twice as much damage to players than normal, and also nesting, which would cause even more gloom bat eggs to spawn within the rooms. I mean, seriously, it's gonna turn the place into a landmine. Are we playing Minesweeper now or something? Fierce flames and pyrotechnics would both cause fire damp rooms to kill the player faster, and they will also spawn in more often as well, and also, a figured out modifier which would cause entities such as the figure rooms to spawn in more similar to how they spawned before the nerf on floor 2. Oh, and imagine if dupe can spawn in during the seek chase causing the chase to become super cryptic. That may just be a little too far. Taking a break from entity modifiers, I know a lot of you guys are probably missing the minecart glitch where it travels super fast and well, the developers could add this in as an owl and sharp turns modifiers simply making minecarts to deal more damage when being hit and also causing the minecart to travel even faster during the seek chase, requiring more hand-eye coordination to type in the correct inputs. As for those pesky little generators, we could imagine an overpowered modifier which would guarantee generators to always require three separate fuses in order to power them up, to even a double trouble modifier which would cause two generators to spawn in to power up a single door. They could also introduce another modifier such as short circuited requiring players to find even more fuses for generators such as some of the doors hackers were able to create for their games and you guys remember the last generator after the seek final boss right well, they could introduce a last generator puzzle modifier in order to make the last generator a bit more engaging. And as for Woman 50, the tech savvy modifier would cause anchors E and F to spawn in solo runs, also just like how hackers were able to add in extra anchors within their scripted runs. The known mercy modifier would cause grubbles to one hit players instead of just dealing 40%, and even an overpopulated modifier which would cause even more grubbles to spawn into floor 150, increasing the amount of up to 6 to 8 grumbles total. And what's this? A mystery modifier? Oh, yeah, you guys probably should do that. But as for the item related modifiers, we do have a couple such as Dim Down, in which this modifier would cause all light sources within the game to be dimmed down and perform not as well, to even out of batteries, in which all light source items that are picked up would not contain any batteries within them. The developers can also introduce the small pockets modifier, which will limit players being able to carry only three usable items at the same time. As for easier and joke modifiers, they are a bunch more, such as the unfunny modifier, which would cause giggles to become stunned longer, presumably around 10 seconds instead of 5 seconds. Another giggle modifier such as jokes on you, in which they would still attack and laugh, but they won't deal any damage at all. The developers can also introduce something such as bumper carts, which would transform all mine carts in the game, and they will no longer cause any damage, and on the opposite side, Rusty Reed 
seals, which would make the Seek minecart chase travel much slower than usual. The overgrown modifier would cause the garden room to spawn in more, including more uses for items and break times, as well as an extinguisher modifier, which would cause the fire damp rooms to appear more and more. Also, more modifiers such as back pain to slow down grumbles, shoe which would cause glue bats to spawn much less, and also a downsized modifier which would make the final seek boss much smaller and weaker than they currently are. There were some really funny ones including the Bald Creek modifier which would be funny to get a Bald Creek jump scare within the game just like how Creek ended up getting one over a year ago. So even ones that would change the look of entities similar to the April Fools update. In fact, why not the developers add in an April Fools Day modifier for Dwarfs 4 2 making it look funny and corny at the same time. That would be hilarious. There could also even be a modifier that would introduce a brand new alternative cutscene, which may lead to even more leaks and potential clues behind the mysterious castle grounds. And well, if they really wanted to, they could make a modifier introducing a fake Floor 3 trailer that could cause some major commotion. Next up, we do have game changing modifiers as well, such as Gravity is Back, which enables players to jump just like in the Final Seek battle, though. This could probably break the game to be honest. Obviously voice acting modifier would make its return, presumably just like in Floor 1, but there could also be a flooded modifier which would cause even more rooms within the mines to be flooded, not just simply introducing more flooded rooms, but actually raising the water level as a whole to most of the rooms within the game. That's not all. Even more players within the community had many more amazing suggestions such as oh yeah air which would limit the player's breath when it came to dealing with those underwater rooms to colorless which would cause fire damp rooms to have no visible gas requiring players to notice the sign on the doors as they should pay attention to. Stone Age would be another great modifier which causes no glow sticks or any electrical light sources to spawn in during Floor 2 at all, relying on the player's judgment to get past. Of course, someone had to mention the heartbeat modifier as there were some in the community that did miss this feature when hiding in lockers. Screech off, which would make things much more easier by completely disabling the screech entity entirely to screech load, which caused the entity to be more annoying than ever, spawning every 10 to 30 seconds. Many within the community were also mentioning a modifier for dread in order to reduce the time to spawn this entity from 10 minutes down to just about 2 or 4 minutes. And also how about bringing back snares to floor 2 again? Well the ouch my foot modifier would be a great job at bringing back that entity once more. Diving more into the lights, CQ Vakorant had even more amazing suggestions including good electrical work powerful lights and indestructible lights, all causing various changes to the lighting system within the rooms and doors. Along with some Jeff shop modifiers such as Black Friday causing all items in the shop to cost less when buying them, Faithful Merchant which causes the crucifix to be spawned in within the shop guaranteed and also high inflation which ultimately causes a major price increase for many of the items inside the shop. Players have also mentioned adding in keys and locked doors within the mines that can be introduced as a high security modifier within floor 2 and also an item overload modifier which can cause items to spawn in every single locker and closet though you lose a big knob percentage. We also can't forget to mention that many of the modifiers from floor 1 could make its reappearance into floor 2 considering the fact that a player within the game community was able to do a deep analysis on the compatibility and found that a lot of modifiers between floor 1 and floor 2 did actually work well together, such as this list of modifiers that were noted to work within the mines, naming many of the entity related modifiers, but they also noticed many modifiers that had many bugs and glitches and needed to be fixed, such as rents due, all the snare modifiers, and also bad ventilation, which actually caused it to become too difficult, especially within the minecart section of the Seek Chase. So out of the whole list of modifiers that did work, we can most likely expect a big portion of these to come to Doors 4 2 in the future. So a big shout out to Pelistar on their findings. But how about the best modifier that everyone wants to see added within the game? Well 
that's totally gotta be the rollback modifier, which would restore floor 2 to the same exact difficulty as it stood before the nerfed updates a day later. What modifiers would you add into Doors Floor 2? Like and subscribe and take care.